now development of palate palate is a structure which is separating the oral cavity from the nasal cavity anterior part of the palate is hard palate and posterior part of the palate is soft palate now coming to the development of palate it is uh, from two uh, it is in two stages first one is the development of primary palate and second is the development of secondary palate so what is primary palate primary palate is a anterior part of the primary palate or primitive palate this is anterior part of the palate which is carrying the four teeth central and lateral incisor this part is called as premaxilla or the primary palate so anterior part of the jaw that is carrying the four teeth that is a central incisor and lateral incisor that part is called as premaxilla and this part is formed by the fronto nasal process and this is called as primitive palate so primitive palate or premaxilla develops from the fronto nasal process and uh, the secondary palate this rest of the part of the palate which is forming the rest of the hard palate and whole soft palate that is developing from the maxillary process and this whole part is called as secondary palate so palate has been divided into two parts primitive palate and the primitive or primary palate that is a uh, premaxillary region premaxilla and uh, the rest of the palate is called as secondary palate which, which is developing from the maxillary process and premaxilla region is formed by the fronto nasal process development of palate start and in the 6 week of the intrauterine life and it completes around the end of the 12th week of the intrauterine life now this primitive palate or the primary palate that is premaxilla and this is formed by fusion of the two medial nasal processes at deeper level of the fronto nasal process we have seen that uh, the fronto nasal process form the two processes uh, on each side of the nasal pit that is medial nasal process and lateral nasal process this medial nasal process anteriorly it will form the uh, fronto uh, this will form the philtrum of the uh, philtrum and nasal septum and on the deeper side it will form the premaxilla or the primitive palate so by the fusion of the two medial nasal processes they will form a wedge shaped mass it is the wedge shaped mass and which is carrying the four incisor teeth it is called as primitive or the primary palate and it ossifies and forms the premaxilla now coming to the development of secondary palate this secondary palate uh, forms the main part of the definitive palate so most of the part of the palate is formed by the secondary palate or the definitive palate is formed by this secondary palate and this secondary palate is formed by maxillary processes so what happens first this this here you can see the maxillary process two shelf like projections arise from it they are called as palatine shells or the palatine shells or the palatine processes so two palatine processes they are arising from the two maxillary process they grow towards each other and they fuses in the midline so by the fusion of two palatine shells towards each other uh, in the midline and above you can see the nasal septum is coming so by the fusion of two palatine shells and uh, nasal septum from above they all fuses in the midline and they form the palate palatine shells appear in the 6 week of development here you can see the palatine shells or the palatine processes which are arising from maxillary process they are moving towards each other but initially they are below the tongue this is tongue so initially these two palatine shells are below the tongue but uh, and uh, here 
this one is the nasal septum which is coming from above so palatine shells are com coming towards each other and palatal pa uh, this nasal septum is coming from above and initially this these palatine shells are below the tongue but later they will uh, come above the tongue here is tongue and these palatine shells has been shifted above and they are above the tongue and they are moving towards each other and nasal septum is coming from above to fuse with these two processes so by the fusion of three nasal septum and two palatine shells then formation of the secondary palate will be there here you can see all three two palatine shells and nasal septum has been fused and this nasal septum it is a downward growth from the fronto nasal septum fronto nasal process the median nasal process or the uh, of the fronto nasal process will form the nasal septum it is moving downwards and it will join the palate in the midline and where it will join it will join at the junction of anterior three fourth part of the palate so at the junction of anterior three fourth and posterior one fourth of the palate this nasal septum will fuse and part behind this junction will form where the nasal septum is not there so that posterior one fourth part will form the soft palate an anterior three fourth part where the nasal septum from above is coming and um, from uh, and both side the palatine shells will fusing and this part will form the hard palate and behind it uh, or the posterior one fourth part of the palate where the nasal septum is not there and uh, two palatine shells are fusing that part will form the soft palate and this fusion is around 9th to 12th week and this anterior 3 fourth part of the palate which ossifies in membrane and it will form the hard palate here you can see the secondary palate it is forming the most of the hard palate and the whole soft palate that is forming by the secondary palate and ossification starts from the maxillary bone and the palatine bone then it will shifting to the palatine shells which are the part of maxillary process and this ossification extend from anterior to posterior side but this ossification fails to occur behind the uh, nasals where the nasal septum is not there beyond the nasal septum or you can say in the posterior one fourth part this nasal septum fails to occur uh we on the nasal septum is not there and this part of the ha hard palate this part of the permanent palate fails to ossify and leading to development of soft palate and posterior in the posterior most part of the soft palate there is a projection that is called as uvula okay now you can see fusion of the primitive palate and uh, secondary palate this y shape suture will be formed and here will be the incisive fossa so anteriorly secondary palate fuses with the primary palate by a y shape suture and each limb of y this each limb of y passes between central and the lateral incisor sorry uh, lateral incisor and canine this is lateral incisor and this one is lateral part is is there is canine so junction between primitive and secondary palate is represented by incisive fossa that will be here incisive fossa so, so uh, now coming to soft palate which is the posterior one fourth part of the permanent palate that will form the soft palate this part is the soft palate here the nasal septum fails to this part of the palate fails to join with the nasal septum and fails to ossify so it is forming the soft palate and uh, posterior most part is forming the uvula 
this soft pallet is like a curtain it is hanging like a curtain and form the posterior margin of the hard pallet so in a nutshell if we see the development of pallet it is a uh, pallet is divided into two parts hard pallet and the soft pallet hard pallet in the anterior part this is a uh, pre maxilla that develops from the primitive primitive pallet this pre maxilla or the primary pallet is the part of the pallet which is in front of the incisive fossa here is the incisive fossa and part anterior to incisive fossa is called as pre maxilla and this pre maxillary region is developing from fused medial nasal process of the fronto nasal process and behind the incisive fossa this part of the hard palate is developing form fusion of the palatine shells and these palatine shells are developing from maxillary processes of the two side now this part and uh, this is soft palate this unossified part of the fused palatine shells so unossified part of the fused palatine shells they uh, from the two maxillary process they fuse to form the soft palate and this part is extending posteriorly beyond the nasal septum so here the nasal septum is not there and uh, two and two palatine shells are fusing but fails to ossify this part will form the soft palate these two diagrams are showing the unilateral cleft lip and the bilateral cleft lip this one is the unilateral cleft lip and the second one is showing the bilateral cleft lip and this cleft lip is due to failure of fusion between maxillary process and the intermaxillary segment or intermaxillary segment or the fronto nasal process that the part that is forming the philtrum of the upper lip so the if there is fusion failure of fusion between maxillary process and uh, lateral nasal process that will lead to formation of unilateral cleft lip and if there is failure of fusion of uh, maxillary process with the fronto nasal process then will lead to formation of bilateral cleft lip this cleft lip and cleft palate uh, what is cleft so th if there is gap in the upper lip or palate then it is called as cleft and this cleft lip is formed due to medial nasal process of the fronto nasal process and maxillary prominence they fails to fuse and cleft palate palatal shells if they fail to fuse in the midline may lead to formation of cleft palate or it may be in uh, association with the cleft in combination with the cleft lip there will be cosmetic complications and uh, it will lead to psychological complications baby is unable to feed there are chances of recurrent infections and speech impairment will also be there due to cleft lip and cleft palate here you can see the complete cleft palate first one is the unilateral and the second one is bilateral in the unilateral uh, cleft palate you can see this primary palate and secondary palate is not fusing in the whole part this uh, primitive uh, if we, this y shape suture only one side it has been fused here but rest of the palate up to uh, anterior to posterior part this is there will be cleft so it is called, called as complete cleft palate and second one is bilateral because uh, on the both side this pre maxilla is not fusing with the secondary palate so this is the bilateral condition and why it is complete because it is extending up to the uvula so first one is the unilateral cle complete cleft palate and second one is your bilateral complete cleft palate now here you can see the incomplete or the partial cleft palate because in this condition cleft is not extending in the whole palate that's why it is called as incomplete cleft palate or the partial cleft palate first 
diagram that is showing the bifid uvula in this diagram you can see the uvula is bifid so the cleft is extending only into the up to the level of uvula in the second uvula and uh, some part of the soft tail is it is, is involved so the cleft is involving the uvula and adjoining part of the soft palate and the third condition cleft is present in the uvula soft palate and extending in slightly into the hard palate so these three are the partial cleft palate or the incomplete cleft palate and this one was the complete palate a cleft palate because the cleft is extending into the whole palate now you can see the pictures showing the cleft lip this one is first one is the unilateral cleft lip and the cleft palate and the second condition is showing the infant with bilateral cleft lip and cleft palate so that's all about development of palate thank you